Hi everyone, it's Athena. Welcome back to my channel. It's Monday, the 27th of April. Okay. Monday, the 27th of April, 2020. All right. Hope we're all staying strong, focusing on learning, whatever it is, maybe creating some new things for ourselves, right? Reading, meditating, dancing, drinking. Anyway, I want to thank every, each and every one of you. I always want to thank, know that I appreciate you all so much. I also wanted to say that there are times when uh, YouTube's been kind of like, kind of funky on subscription, on my subscriptions, as well as other readers on YouTube. So just FYI, if you're not getting my readings, um, just re-click and subscribe again, hitting the notification bell so you can get my uploads. I don't know, it's kind of getting funky. It's, it's fine, just if, it'll help if you do that. Okay, Seven of Pentacles. Waiting, right? Waiting to get out of the house. Some are just outside meditating, right? Some are outside enjoying their time with their dogs which is great, um, being in nature, right? Just, just really chilling in nature and waiting. Some are waiting for their stimulus checks. You see the pentacles are hanging there, just waiting to be received. So waiting on money, waiting on time, for things to start moving again, right? But right now we're waiting. And she doesn't look very happy as she's waiting, right? It could be the look of our face at this moment in time. However, however, there's a beauty. There is beauty in the, in the waiting. Even though you may not see it, there is. Some are healing, right? So there's a lot of there's a lot that me that's in this card for different reasons for different people, right? It's also about devotion, devotion, the love and devotion that you have. You see the dog there. That's loyalty, devotion, honorability, I hear. Okay? So we're grounding ourselves pretty much, yeah? And then we have this beautiful angel who's got blessings for all to, to be had because she's an, she's an angel and she's about to give us blessings of movement, of purity, the purification and movement of the waters from the ethers. The skies are getting cleared up, which is part of the blessing that's, that's being gifted to us on Mother Earth also, okay? The fire and the water is purification of fire and purification of air or water in the air. You see what I'm saying? Okay. So clearing the air, Mother Earth is, is it's a process, right? Some things that are still hidden, we are not aware of and we need not know for those are the mysteries of life, aren't they? Sometimes it's better not to know, seriously, <laughs> right? We have this moon, this beautiful moon. So under the, under the guise of the next full moon, maybe things will be more apparent to us. But now it's time to just plant, plant seeds for the future. It's time to ground ourselves. It's time to be more devoted and nurturing to self as well as to others. The blessings are coming. We just, right now, we're in the dark about a lot of stuff. We may feel things, a lot of us, especially some, some uh, most of, right, who watch readings understand the beautiful mysteries that, you know, um, are held by the high priestess, secrets of the universe, you know, 
things that are going to ultimately are going to ultimately be illuminated uh, and maybe the next full moon those things will be coming out right no more illusions right we won't be so much in the dark as we will we have we will have waited for this time to like now understand because we have two sevens so that's like universal if you look at it right the universal part of being grounded waiting not not knowing but knowing in a sense that there are a lot of things going on not only with our lives and with you know the lives of many that we are the seen and unseen right things are being things are being cleared out that we are not here's the clearing out is the blessings the purification of water and fire is being is puring up, is purifying not only mother earth here but also all of the all of the fake cups that come as illusions of grandeur you know people places and things that say they're better than they are or portray themselves in a way that we do not see are hidden to us yes so there's a lot of crap going on and the best seriously i know it's you know the things that are hidden sometimes are really the best things for us not to know <laughs> you know truly you, it's better it's sometimes it's just better not to know what is going on it's better to stay to stay balanced so if you are too much up in your head about about thinking talking debating i hear a debating debating a lot right debating about what's going on what's happening you know when is this going to be over right it's all this but it's also just part of our lives whatever is going on right now is is helping us purify it's 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 on a grander scale you know it's it's making sure that when we do make some choices or if we're making getting ready two sevens getting ready to make these choices that you know we we make them so that we don't feel restricted right we want to choose the right cups for us right and what are the right cups well each individual has their own cups but don't be fooled because there's a snake in in one of the cups there's you know not all is what it seems if someone's offering, right, a new job, let's just say, if, if that's happening, if you're being offered a new job that looks really good on paper, right, but it, you don't, there's stuff that you don't know about, right? So you need to be inquisitive for sure, but also protect yourself in your thoughts. Keep yourself... Keep your thoughts pure, always, you know, as much and as best as we can, right? So we don't, we're trying to, trying to stay out of our own way so that we can protect our own mindset. Let's protect the way that we communicate. Let's protect the way that we think and how we speak to others. And if there is, which I'm going to say right now, I feel it. A lot in within myself within the last week that through this healing that we're all going through I feel there's a lot of people that are going to come around and say I'm sorry in a lot of ways in in your life like people might come out of the woodwork that you don't even like you don't even you didn't see coming you know We have a king of pentacles, right? So this is like the epitome, literally, the epitome of being grounded and stable, right? And it's nice because we start with a seven of pentacles and we 
we end on this note, this path that we're traveling right now today with the King of Pentacles. So saving our money, saving our check, our stimulus check, whoever gets, who's ever receiving that, maybe that's what we're waiting for. So when it comes, we're going to be like really feeling secure. The stability and grounding of self also not only is about money, but it's also about our stability and security of life. So I think there's going to be some, there are going to be friends and family members that at one time, right here, these are the three major cards right here. At one time, whatever was, I should use this card too, whatever was hidden, secrets, whatever we don't see will be coming out in a way that will come out in a way that's not, you know, you have to use your discernment, right? Discernment's important, but it will be more open. Make sure what is what is being said is coming from a place that is, you know, from an honest place, right? From the heart. Someone may reveal their pain in their heart or not physical. I'm talking emotional, right? I've been thinking about you. I'm sorry if I've hurt you, you know. Make sure that this comes from a place of the heart, which the King of Pentacles is the heart. It rules. It's very nurturing. It's all about the heart. Okay. Let's look at the bottom of the deck. And the, this, if it is, if this is an apology, it could just really balance out someone's life in the fact that they've wanted, they've wanted to, they've wanted to reveal how they feel for a while and didn't know how to come forth. Or like I said, it could be just something, you know, that has been long awaited is coming. I've been feeling that a lot because you, you just don't know anymore, right? You just don't know. So here's the message. Yeah. So a message of forgiveness. I'm sorry. I, it could be a friendship that you get out of the blue. You don't see it coming. The high priestess. Something that's been hidden comes out through a, a message of forgiveness. Let's make, right? Let's make peace. Let's heal. Let's revisit our relationship. Could be. I care for you. I don't want to lose our, you know, if we, if we were fighting or if I was sabotaging, self-sabotaging something and it hurts you, you know, it's like, I'm sorry. Stuff like that, right? Someone might have spoken out of what they thought they were feeling or seeing or thinking, right? The cups are feeling and the swords are thinking and what their understanding, what your understanding, depending on if you're, if this could be Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, you could have been self-sabotaging a friendship or relationship through your thoughts, maybe a fight of, of some sort, you know, ensued and your feelings were hurt. So, you know, here comes my feelings were hurt or they're saying it to you and, you know, apologizing for emotionally hurting you as well as lashing out or saying something that was, you know, that was not a, you know, was not cool to say. And then, you know, you just balance out the scales and the page of swords is the messenger that comes in to say, you know, I'm sorry, right? It could have been just that. So let's see what else, okay? I kind of went a little, there were a lot of different, these, there's a lot of scenarios like, you know, it depends on which one fits your situation for today, okay? But waiting on either money, an apology, 
hoping for a brighter future, which we all are. Everyone is going through this transformation. And through the transformation, always apologies. See, being stuck in your head, it's, it's repeating itself. So the storyline is just to focus on some receiving money. See, it's all, it's all a re repetitive story through either waiting for a, the stimulus check or money coming back to you or money that you, maybe you did someone a favor and now they're bringing, finally, you know, they hurt your feelings for not paying you up front or when they said they would and, you know, here comes the money now or here comes an apology because, you know, I spoke out of line, we had a fight, I said some harsh things, you know, stuff like that, right? Someone's going through a transformation and reassessing their life, right? We reassess when we're in this mode. This is totally reassessing, sitting outside, meditating, walking your dogs out in nature, what have you. Being in nature helps you not only to heal, but also to like come to terms with maybe, th maybe this is a time of uh, healing your friendships, relationships, from, you know, and also, and really coming out and saying it, like taking action. There's the call to action. That's why I said it. Commander Ashtar is coming out to say, take charge and lead by example, walk your talk, which I think someone's feeling guilty for something that they did maybe even seven months ago, could be even seven years ago. Now coming to this point of transformation, seeing the light, right? And making changes to their life. Have a great day.